Hi. There was a question initiated in Civil Era Forum on top reinforcement for isolated footing. Is it required to have top reinforcement for a normal isolated footing? And that was the discussion around. So I'm going to explain you a simple clause in IS-456 which mandates minimum reinforcement for top section as well if there is a situation which I'm going to explain. Hi all, this is Premjit here from CivilEra.com. So this is the question. Generally, we don't have top reinforcement for isolated footings. Footings are subjected to soil pressure and behaves as a cantilever and you need bottom steel for the footings. Also, the footings are buried in soil and is not subjected to any temperature variation. So do we need top rebars? So there have been a lot of discussion and many people were talking about stress reversal, uplift and so many things. But I am talking about a simple clause in IS-456. Before taking you to that clause, I will just quickly explain the behavior of a footing. We all know that a structure is stable and going to stand if the foundation size is adequate. So as we all know, if the load in your footing is P and if you have pinned your base, you will ensure that your P by SBC is going to be the area or in other words, you are ensuring that P by area is less than or equal to your SBC. By doing this, what you are ensuring is that the load from your column is going to be distributed into the soil by the foundation. So what it means is that you have adequate area so that your foundation is not going to sink down into the soil because of the additional load. So it's like floating on the soil. So due to that, what you will have finally is a pressure from the soil so that your foundation is doing that. So what generally we will have is a bending in the foundation due to this pressure and you will have a cantilever behavior on all four sides of your footing projection from the column. So here you will have a cantilever and if you look at the plan you will be deciding this to be the cantilever and you can design as a cantilever. So when you do that your steel requirement is at the bottom and not at the top. So this is the reason that most of the times we are not giving any top reinforcement. Now the critical section for moment and shear I am not explaining all that right now that you can refer a good book or you already know about that. So I am just explaining that it's a cantilever behavior and your requirement is at the bottom because of the tension or because of the moment which is a cantilever moment due to the pressure. So in each direction you will have the steel depending upon the moment and the section thickness will depend upon the shear moment and punching. Now coming to the close in IS-456 which tells you about the top reinforcement you can see close number 34 talks about footing and as you come down the closest you will get a close 34.5 and here it says that minimum reinforcement and spacing shall be as per the requirements of solid slab now this is 0.12 percentage as per the slabs and that's for the tension phase now here you can see 34.5.2 which says that the nominal reinforcement for concrete sections of thickness greater than 1 meter shall be 360 millimeter square per meter length in each direction on each face. Now it also says that this provision does not supersede the requirement of minimum tensile reinforcement based on the depth of the section. So for your bottom since you have tension you might still need 0.12 percentage in case if the forces are less the minimum reinforcement or as per the design what you get or 360 millimeter square per meter whichever gives you more steel but at the top generally you don't have any forces and hence you have to give 360 millimeter square per meter even if your design doesn't need that if your thickness of the foundation is more than one meter so if i explain that you can see here that 360 millimeter square per meter length is what the code recommends and if I consider something like 10 diameter bar, a 10 diameter bar has an approximate area of 78 millimeter square and that will give me 4.6 which is rounded off to a higher value of 5 
numbers and you will end up having four spacings which means that in one meter you need about 250 millimeter spacing 10 diameter bars so you will end up giving 10 at 250 on top face of your foundation in each direction as per that code this is more of a minimum steel recommendation because the section is really large and is a kind of mass there now coming to your bottom reinforcement it will remain whatever you get as per your design if 0.12 is more than that of the design requirement than that or 360 millimeter square per meter whichever is more so this is unlikely to be critical for the bottom reinforcement so that's all i wanted to tell you today a simple close in is 456 which mandates top reinforcement for large isolated footings so thank you for watching we'll come with another video very soon i suggest you read our discussion and join in the discussion at www.civil era.com slash forum and join the discussion and participate there thank you once again for watching this video